Today, the bad weather is unflinching, just like Miriam. We're not cold at all. We're used to it. Nothing can stop this 51-year-old fisherwoman from heading out to collect wild mussels on France's northern Opal coast. It's a joy to have this black treasure at our feet, just waiting to be picked up. She braves the wind and waves 365 days a year. I'm a true child of the sea, as we say in these parts, a real daughter of a fisherman. In her male-dominated business, Miriam is a woman who goes against the tide. I want to tell the men, hey, maybe we're better than you. Women have guts too. They can go very far. You can find us on Facebook. Bang up to date, Miriam also takes some of France's leading businessmen out fishing. Can you hear? They're alive. Oh, yeah, so they are. <laughs> These are unique masterclasses that they won't easily forget. She's been harvesting mussels for 35 years without ever getting bored. This is our garden. Fishing is clearly in her blood. I have two mothers, the one who brought me into this world, who's now up there with the stars, and the one that feeds me every day, the sea, who knocks me into shape and who helps me move forward. As a child, Miriam wanted to look like local sailors, and she was already rebellious. I wanted to be like my brother. One day I cut off one of my plaits and my mum was forced to cut off the other. And I was happy because I had a boy's haircut. At the age of 16, she left school and became the only fisherwoman in the port of Calais. 35 years later... Hello. ...things have hardly changed. Thank you. If you want some good mussels, this is where you have to come. Three litres? Yes, please. They're beautiful. You'll really enjoy them. They're good. Miriam has won over Calais. She's always around for her customers. It's great. We're fast becoming regulars. You can't find this quality elsewhere. Thanks. See you on Sunday. She's also making waves on the internet. Her graphic designer friend Fanny has updated her image. She has this charisma and a rare personality, and she defends her profession. My eyes are closed like that all the time because of the wind. Her drawings allow me to keep a bit of femininity. I'm a real workhorse, so Fanny gives me the soft touch that I lack. All the hours spent combing the beach have paid off. I think this is the only piece of jewellery that I'll ever have in my life. Last year, she was made a Knight of the Order of Merit. To be given this medal was just wow. I was so proud. With the national anthem playing, it was wonderful. Come on, shall we go? Today, she's heading out with some captains of industry. It's pretty. This is home. We have the perfect conditions today. Three years ago, a customer had the bright idea of setting up a special seminar. It's my first time. I didn't even know you could collect mussels here. They have to be four centimetres. This one's 4.5. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I work with respect for the environment. And if I'm not rich, well, so be it. My wealth is here. There's one. You can tell that she's completely in tune with nature. The stock market could collapse and it wouldn't matter. At first, Miriam laughed at these businessmen who were willing to pay about 60 euros to come fishing. I thought they were crazy because they wanted to pay to come mussel fishing and we want to go on holiday but can't. And then I thought, well, yes, why not? It's rewarding, I find. The trip then continues to the kitchen. OK, let's eat. When you're at sea, everyone's equal. And back here at home, we're all equal. It makes me feel good. It gives me a lot of energy to continue. Thank you. Come on through. Miriam then shows the group her secret room. It's impressive. It's an old wooden pot that you use to serve mussels in. It houses her collection of fishing objects. This is your personal museum. I thought about all the men and women who worked hard to make it, and I thought we have to keep it. These objects are the story of a lifetime. Stand together, all three of you. Today, this mother of four fights for her son, Claude, who is autistic. Look at this one, it's pretty. She now has plans to begin fishing trips for the disabled. Nature's a healer. The sea's given me immense strength. It's helped me build a better future for my children. Miriam is determined once again to change people's thinking.